I'm Dr Sean Evans. Um, I'm a lecturer in Welsh and Early Modern History uh, in the School of History, Law and Social Sciences here at Bangor University, uh, where I also run a research centre called the Institute for the Study of Welsh Estates. Uh, I first visited the Archives and Special Collections here at Bangor when I was um, researching for my PhD, uh, which was analysing the emergence of the Mostyn family and estate during the 16th and 17th centuries. And I remember coming into the reading room and uh, I think there's, there's six or seven catalogues worth of Mostyn material there. So I remember having a look at the catalogues and then ordering two or, f or two or three of the early documents and just that insight that they provided into, into what I was researching was absolutely fantastic. So since then, I suppose I've been visiting on a, on a pretty regular basis for different different research projects and initiatives looking at the, the influence of landed estates in North Wales. Um, so we held an event um, at the archives a few weeks ago with colleagues from other parts of the university, so foresters and fisheries experts and so forth, and we were looking at the records in the state archives relating to things like woodland management and historical fisheries. And that was really interesting because um, we know that these historical archives contain information about all sectors of society, all parts of life. But it was really interesting when you actually go looking for these records about about trees and about about fish and and so forth as to what actually was there. And it was great to spend a day with with colleagues from other parts of the universities exploring those questions and seeing what historical records we had here related to the to those themes. Um, lots of our research at the moment is looking at you know invite the contemporary environmental crises, issues of biodiversity and uh, climate change uh, and so forth. So these kinds of questions where we're looking at sort of historical food production and historical land management and so forth and the historical insights that can guide contemporary decision making and so forth is really interesting. Oh, there are so many, aren't there? Um, so one of my um, favourite records in the archives is a 16th century heraldic pedigree roll. Um, it was commissioned by a Welsh gentleman called David Salisbury in um, 1570 from the, the Welsh herald poet uh, William Cunwell. And William Cunwell, more famous for his poetic output, his various praise poetry, uh, various praise poems he uh, he sang to the, the gentry of North Wales. But what this pedigree role does is show the importance of, of ancestry in, in Welsh culture and society, showing the different ancestors uh, claimed by the, the this particular branch of the Salisbury family in, uh, in Dufferin Clwyd. And it's really interesting, it shows that, that transition you see at this period from, from when um, claims to status and honour and authority during the medieval period primarily articulated through performance of of canny mawl of praise poetry and here you've got this transition into the visual um, presentation of status and honour and authority through genealogy and then heraldry and you see that being replicated in the houses of of men like David Salisbury as well so it's a really interesting uh, document and I always imagine it because of the size of it you can roll it up quite tightly you can imagine him carrying it around in his uh, in his pocket and when anyone challenged his status get get it out I said oh I'm a I'm a gentleman with all these ancestors going back so it's quite a nice item that one um, the other one I really like, uh, and it's quite an obscure one, this one, but uh, when I was doing my Mostyn family research, I became very interested in, uh, I guess, the social relations on the Mostyn estate and how they developed across the 16th and 17th centuries. And um, I became really interested in landowner-tenant relationships, uh, so how the Mostyns engaged with the people who were living on their estate. And um, you've got fantastic rent, rentals, rent rolls, um, and leases, which sort of demarcate how these relationships should operate. And one of the things I came across was um, a clause regularly inserted into these leases that tenants had to provide a number of capons, so chickens um, to, to the landlord um, at either Christmas or Easter 
And one of the things I found on quite a regular basis was capon rentals. So um, at every Easter and every Christmas, literally hundreds of these birds coming into Mostyn Hall or Glodaith Hall, uh, presumably to be used in sort of communal feasting around those times. Uh, but there's a lovely entry in one of these capon rentals, um, which talks about how two tenants of the Mostyn families, Llangochlan estate in Penguern, had brought these capons from um, Llangochlan up into Flintshire to Mostyn and how they'd lost two of them on the way so where you can imagine have they escaped somewhere or have they, have they put them to one side so they can add something to their cooking pots uh, you know those those insights you get into sort of lived experience uh, I think are really nice when you can sort of make a picture of what's going on uh, through the records I like those I think it's fantastic how the archives and special collections came into being when you've got the university librarian, Tom Richards, from the 1920s, 1930s, um, essentially going around the country houses of North Wales, knocking on the door and saying, can we have your historical archives? And that mission to provide a resource for better understanding of the history and culture of Wales that was part of his objectives very much realised now in the potential of the collections here to inspire research but also really enrich the teaching and learning experience here at Bangor University. So as a, as a collection of historical information and as a research and heritage resource we're incredibly lucky at Bangor University to have this uh, on our doorstep for us to use, for the public to use, for the people of Wales to use.